All right, so here's the VIOP. We've set it up uh, with Windows 7, the beta. And I'm going to start just by uh, going through the startups. And we'll just, we press the cross media for the instant on to look at the cross media bar. I'll let that boot up here. And that still works uh, with the installation. So I'll zoom in a bit. You can see the cross media bar going. So all that is uh, still working fine. Uh, we'll boot up the And we just Windows. want to look at some of the things you can do to optimize the experience. So you can use, I like to use mice, so you can use Bluetooth mice, obviously with the built-in Bluetooth. Uh, if you've got a mouse with a dongle, such as this uh, Microsoft Arc mouse, uh, you can use that as well. I kind of like this mouse, it almost matches. Uh, we've got some Sony Vio mice that are Bluetooth and uh, match as well. So we'll let this boot up here. So one of the first things I did was I changed the DPI settings. This is in uh, Windows Vista and in Windows 7. If I go to Personalize, and there's a little item on the left here called Display, I right-click to get that first menu. And you can change the DPI of the, uh, the font. So I've picked a custom 150, makes them a little bit bigger, a little bit easier to read if you're over 40 like me. Uh, and that makes all the fonts uh, bigger throughout the system. I also like to use a browser like Firefox, uh, Chrome, others all have the ability to uh, change the font size. So you just hit Control and then Plus and Minus, and you can see how the font size changes really uh, quickly. And once you move in, you can see the browsing experience is actually quite nice. So I'll go into here, find a page, and so here we are. And if everything's not fitting, I can just control minus and it'll quickly bring that all in. And so I can pick particular stories. As well with Firefox, you've got uh, F11, gives you the full screen. So it actually will give you everything uh, that's on the page just maximized on your screen. If you scroll to the top, you get your bar back, you can switch to somewhere else. But you can see that the browsing experience is very snappy. I'm connected to a home network and you can, you know, just have a uh, quick look around. Works very quickly. The pages draw fast. They scroll nicely. So I'm going to hop out of there. One of the other things is you'll notice that it's really snappy opening the uh, windows. So if I go and I want to maybe watch a video, let me go to my computer here. Got some video on my PSP. Go to the video folder. Here's some podcast video I downloaded. Double click on that, it comes up in uh, Windows Media Player. Comes up minimized. Let's give it a second. So it's playing direct off the memory stick at this point. And there it's starting to, starting to play. You can resize it. Alt Enter, of course, all the standard Windows things for full screen. You can play your home videos and, and anything else. You can install QuickTime, DivX, all those kinds of things for playing as well. And that's on the uh, Windows Media Player. And so the Windows 7 is uh, pretty, pretty snappy. I installed it by burning the disk that I got from uh, Microsoft, the disk image. I burned it onto a hard drive here, just, so just a USB hard drive. Plugged it in, ran the setup, let it work its way through. Uh, and that was it. And all the things seem to work. Uh, the camera works, uh, the cross media bar comes up, the instant on still works, and it's just a much snappier performance. So, so that's Windows 7 on the Vio P.